कार्डियो पलमनरी असेसमेंट प्रेजेंटेड बाय ऐलानी काजोल बेदियावद्रा कोमल बलदाणिया दिव्यर गाइडेड बाय डॉक्टर हिना डांगर वी आर गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट चेस्ट एक्सपांशन मेजरमेंट एंड डायफ्रागमेटिक एक्सकर्शन चेस्ट एक्सपांशन मेजरमेंट चेस्ट एक्सपांशन मेजरमेंट इज डन फॉर एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ डिटेक्टिंग abnormalities at the different level of lobes things required measure tip clipboard and pen to note readings chest expansion measurement levels and its normal values in centimeter first upper lobe at axilla level normal value is 2 to 3 cm second middle lobe at nipple level normal value is 3 to 4 cm third lower lobe at xiphi sternum normal value is 5 to 6 cm patient position relax sitting or standing hands in full flexion therapist position in front of patient values other than normal denotes abnormalities in that lobe while measuring the end of the tape should be in middle procedure the flat tape should be placed around the chest the patient is then asked to breathe out as far as possible at the same time allowing the tape measure to be released the two measurements are recorded hello everyone myself divesh baldania we are going to perform chest expansion has the examination part for detecting abnormalities at the different level of lobes patient's position should be relaxed sitting or standing minimal or no clothing over the chest therapist will stand in front of the patient and procedure place major tape around the chest there are three levels for the chest expansion measurement first at axilla level pass the major tape between folds of axilla note the first measurement when patient breathe out ask the patient to breathe breathe in as much as possible the major tape is to be released and the second measurement is noted difference will denote chest expansion measurement value normal value at this level is 2 to 3 cm at nipple level pass the tape through the nipple level then repeat the same procedure normal value at this level is 3 to 4 cm third at xiphi sternum level palpate the two costal margin then go medially you will find depression that is the level of xiphi sternum after that repeat the same procedure normal value is 5 to 6 cm chest expansion is reduced in pediatrics and the patient having restrictive disease or hyperinflated chest due to any lung pathology or patient had not taken the breath completely diaphragmatic excursion 
the assessment of diaphragmatic function is important for diagnosis and follow up of various physiologic and pathologic conditions assessment of diaphragmatic movement can be made with mediate percussion procedure patient position sitting with arms crossed anteriorly therapist position behind the patient the patient is asked to breathe deeply and hold that breath the lowest level of the diaphragm on maximal inspiration coincides with the lowest point where resonant tone is heard the patient is then asked to exhale and mediate percussion is repeated the lowest area of resonance now moves higher as the diaphragm ascends with relaxation the distance between these two points is described as the diaphragmatic excursion the normal range is 3 to 5 cm in this we can see the location and sequence of percussion it is to be done between the intercostal space starting from the inferior angle of the scapula during complete inspiration and complete expiration we will get the dull note over the level of diaphragm the difference between these two points will denote the value of the diaphragmatic excursion one can hear the resonant over the lungs and the dull over the diaphragm during mediate percussion now we are going to perform diaphragmatic excursion examination of diaphragmatic excursion is done with doing the mediate percussion patient's position should be sitting with arm crossed over chest and facing the chest posteriorly minimal or no clothing over the chest therapist position should be behind the patient procedure first of all patient is asked to breathe deeply and hold that breath the lowest level of the diaphragm on maximal inspiration coincides with the lowest point where resonant tone is here starting from inferior angle of scapula ask to patient inhale and hold now we are percuss during inspiration now exhale the patient is then asked to exhale and mediate percussion is repeated the lowest area of resonance moves higher as the diaphragm ascends with relaxation exhale and hold during expiration the distance between these two point is described as diaphragmatic excursion the normal range is 3 to 5 cm thank you diaphragmatic excursion 
is reduced in pediatrics and the patient having restrictive disease or hyperinflated chest due to any lung pathology or patient had not taken the breath completely.